Avatar reminds me a lot of the iPhone in that when the first Avatar came out, like when the first few iPhones came out, it was a quantum leap. People were baffled. Holy shit! 3D? Are you f shitting me? That's crazy! And everybody went in and they put on their 3D glasses and they were blown away, right? Despite the fact that the movie was just the hero's journey, right? The movie is just Star Wars. It is Harry Potter. It is every film based on the hero's journey. It is nothing new that you've ever seen in any film, but it was done very well. But it's interesting because 3D fucking sucks. And it took us a few years to realize 3D fucking sucks. Um, I don't like 3D movies. Not many people do. Uh, they thought 3D was going to take over every single movie theater in the world. But people realized it basically dramatically decreases the quality of the picture you're seeing. The glasses suck. To wear it gives you a headache now granted there is something called laser 3d that exists in like 20 movie theaters across the country that is fantastic and it really does look beautiful and it's worth it but there are only like 20 movie theaters that have it so when you talk about avatar 2 to me it's like the i the iphone 13 x plus 2 special edition or like they're still billing it as like effects like you've never seen. And you're like, what? No, I've seen these effects. And they're like, James Cameron invented a way to do stop motion underwater. And you're like, why wouldn't you just do stop motion and then put them underwater? Make them act like they're underwater. Because this is more difficult. Are, are, do you think audiences are actually as excited about underwater stop motion as they are about as they were about 3D? Yes. No. I mean, looking at this trailer, like it's pretty, but it, like, I mean, it looks like a it looks like a Final Fantasy cutscene, right? Like, I'm not I'm not totally blown away by this by any means, and like this is by the way. This right here is the big advancement. Like this is what Cameron spent millions of dollars on was putting talent in the water and doing stop motion. I don't even know if, or, 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 um, or, and doing uh, cap, uh, mocap. And I don't even know if you guys know that, but this is the big innovation right here. This is totally groundbreaking. Or so they want you to think. So this movie is supposed to be this giant, quantum leap forward i don't think it is a giant quantum leap forward there are a ton of rumors that when this film is actually released that they have researched a way to do 3d movies without 3d glasses that is the rumor in the industry i don't think it's true if it is true it would be fascinating and they might be holding on to it for a month before the release to really get audiences excited. But even if it is true, I warn you, it'll only be available in very limited theaters. You know, there's the, there are a bunch of rumors surrounding this film. And you know, they're banking on that there are gigantic Avatar fans. I, you know, I know they exist. I know that there are people who absolutely adore the first Avatar, but I think there are less than they think there are because this project is already scheduled for like Avatar three through five, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're scheduled for like another four movies. You know, what's really interesting in a culture where like waste has become so ubiquitous, right? Like I talked to my 90 year, 91 year old dad and you think about the, the fact that they would like reuse milk 
glasses. They'd put them back out after the milkman brought them. And they would, you know, use a flask for like 10 years. And they would go to a cobbler to repair their shoes and, and all this shit that just seems insane to us. We're the same way with content. 50 years ago, a movie came out and you'd watch it like 30 times. Like people would be like, man, that Citizen Kane is so good. I think I'll watch it again. And now like we're on such a insane content clip that like we watch major releases while we're on our phone or like cleaning the house. Like that's crazy to me. Even at, like as recent as 10 years ago, we used to sit the fuck down and watch shit. We don't do that anymore. We really don't. We burn through content at a lightning clip. We really do. And even those of you who are saying, I don't do that. Did you watch Dune in the movie theater? Did you? Or did you watch it on a streaming platform? Be honest. Be honest. Did you go to the movie theater to watch Dune? How many of you watched it at home? How many of you watched it at home? A lot of these movies are getting watched at home. Those of you that went and saw it in the theater, you're purists. And I respect that. My hat is off to you. So many of the, the film consuming audience are watching things at home. They're watching things at a lightning clip. And they are consuming things while they're watching things on a second screen. So we're desperate for content. So Avatar might put butts in seats because it's going to be an event. It's a massive film. I think it will be successful. My expectation is that it is nowhere near as successful as they are projecting it will be. There are some people projecting that this will be the most profitable, profitable film of all time. And to that I say, there's, there's no fucking shot. I'd be shocked if this film matches the success of the first Avatar. I don't think it will flop. Let's see what the cost of it was. Let's see what the budget. It's probably a $100 million film. Two fifty. Okay. Um, $250 million. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> you could build nuclear missiles for that amount. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I think it will make its money back. I think it will make more than its cost. I'm not sure it will be this billion dollar film that they are potentially expecting. I don't think it'll be a billion dollar film. I could be wrong. If it flops, that would be one of the most shocking flop I'm a stud. ever. Avatar 2 hits nearly 150 million views in 24 hours, the trailer. That's impressive. That's more than The Rise of Skywalker and Black Widow. That's not impressive. These movies sucked. Black Widow made $379 million. If Avatar makes only $379 million, they will cancel the sequels. They will cancel the other sequels, for sure, in a heartbeat. Because that, that will have lost money, right? The budget of the film is $250 million, but the advertising, the, all the costs around this movie, that, that will be considered a failure. They've already filmed like three of them. Bro, what do you mean film? I love, dude, I'm, I'm gonna be real. Filmed? This is a green screen movie. What the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean filmed? They didn't build a fucking set. Like five people dancing in front of a green screen. Of course they already filmed it. That's like a fraction of the cost. Like a, a, a maybe a 16th of the work that goes into this film is getting your talent in front of a green screen. Bro, how much of this film is real? I'm trying, like, I'm trying to look at this film and be like, what's that kid is real. How much of the background is real? Probably nothing. No, none of it's real. Maybe there was a pool underneath him. The kid with dreads is real. That's all fake. That's all fake. I wonder if they've already done the uh, CGI for the, for the efforts. Can you appreciate the tech effort though? Oh yeah, for sure. I, I appreciate the tech effort. I guess I appreciate it the same way that I appreciate like a Honda Prius with spoilers and, and spinning rims on it. <laughs> I'm going to be real. Is Avatar, is this movie, is the, is the effects in this movie, are the effects in this movie significantly more impressive than this video game?
And my answer is no. I really don't think they are. I think the appearance of these two projects is kind of comparable. Well, let me ask you this. This is a better question. Here's a scene from Avatar, $250 million. And here's a scene, a very comparable scene from District 9, more than a decade old budget of $30 million. Is one of those significantly more attractive than the other? You know what I mean? Like we just watched this movie. Do the, do the avatars look a lot better than the, than the prawns? I ask you, this is a, this is a 250, this is a quarter billion dollar movie. And this is a $30 million movie. Is this 10 times better than this? I, I don't think so. And if your answer is yes, is it, is it better to a, to a 10th degree? Guys, listen, you wanted my take, right? I always, I always remind you, my take is not the law. My take is not religion. You are allowed to have your own take. In fact, I could be radically wrong here. I could be totally wrong. I, I might have to get on stream and go, hey, I was totally wrong. What an idiot I was. And if that happens, I usually do. And I have made predictions in the future or, or, or in the past. I have made future predictions in the past, right? Where I have predicted things. Now, I haven't made an erroneous prediction about film yet. If I am wrong, and this film is totally unmissable, work of art, film of the decade, and it goes out and it smashes every box office record, I'll come in here and I'll say, wow, what a fool I've been. I don't think I'll have to make that apology. No, a thousand subs. You guys think that me getting the future box office wrong is a $5,000 mistake? A, a, a fourth of the total subs I have right now? <laughs> Go fuck yourself.